Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's service. I hope you are enjoying the summer. And today we are going to sing a Vandana Tisarana followed by Junirai. Then we are going to read our pledge, Dharma talk, sing Shinshu Shuka verse 2, and that will be the end of the service. So please join me in Gashio to begin the service. Please put your palms together. Namo Amida Butsu, Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu, Namanda Butsu, Namanda Butsu, Namanda Butsu, Namanda Namo Tassa Vagavato Arahato Sammasabhutasa Bhutam Saranangam Chami Dhamma Saranam Gachami Sangam Saranam Gachami
長来みだそう。十法将来勝負し、権限人武士安楽。戦後尊厳上空業、高賀町来みだそう、小無無上無がと、薬業水が伝よろ、一周説法無名字。古賀町来みだそう。一村仏説無悪名。薬無行人悪道府、修人死神拒否僧、古賀町来みだそう。一村無料法勉強、無償修悪知識、往生不退死亡大、高賀町来みだそう。合戦非損苦毒寺。修善無変業改す。前後、朝上者、衛生主、上、朝、
Now we are going to read our pledge. Our pledge. Breaking out of my shell, I will share a warm smile and speak gentle words, just like the kind Buddha. Not becoming lost in my greed, anger, and ignorance, I shall think and act with an open mind, just like the calm and peaceful Buddha. Not putting myself first, I will share in the joy and sadness of others, just like the compassionate Buddha. Realizing the gift of life I have received, I shall strive to live each day to its fullest, like the Buddha who tirelessly works to liberate all. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namanda Butsu. Namanda Butsu. Namanda. And now, I would like to share the words of Nagarjuna, the first seven Piala masters from his writings, chapter on easy practice of the com commentary on the 10 Bodhisattva stages. So please shame me in Gashio, please put your palms together. Moshi hito zenkon wo uete, utagaeba sunawachi hana hirakazu. 新人症状のもの花開けばすなわち仏を見立てまつると。If one doubts the Buddha's power while planting roots of good, the lotus flower in which one is born will not open. For one whose entrusting heart is pure, however, the flower opens and then one sees the Buddha. Namo Amida Buts. Namo Amida Buts. Namo Amida Buts. Namo Amida Buts. So good morning again, everyone. And this is already the last Sunday of July, and I hope everyone is enjoying the summer. I have been participating in Ango, two-week summer lecture series by Honganji, our head temple in Kyoto. And as I mentioned in my talk a few weeks ago, it is usually held at the lecture hall of Ryukoku University, right next to Nishihonganji. But because of the pandemic, we are having it online this year. And good things about having lecture series online is that I don't have to carry all the books every day for the lecture in hot and humid summer days in Kyoto. You know, summer days in Kyoto, if you go outside, sweat comes out naturally uh, within a few minutes. It's really hot and humid. But, you know, that's a good thing. I don't have to carry around these books. But because of the time lag, the lecture begins from 4 p.m. and it lasts until 8.20 p.m. And also, 12 people from the participants are selected and six becomes questionnaire and six as answer. And we discussed three topics at Ango and spent three to four days to discuss one topic. So 36 to 48 people are involved in the discussion for a topic. And we have finished discussing the topic recitation of the name as an expression of gratitude for the Tathagata's benevolence. And now we are discussing two lands of fulfilled and transformed. And I have already experienced being answerer and questionnaire. And, you know, to prepare for the discussion, it's fun. It's fun to study. But because we have to discuss in front of all the scholars, even though it's online, I feel it's really stressful. And I lost two pounds while preparing for the discussion. But anyway, I usually wake up around 5.30 a.m. and I start working in front of the computer around 8 a.m. So, you know, preparing for the message for every morning services and a Sunday services, that should be done by around noon or maybe sometime in afternoon. So, Ango starts from 4 p.m. and lasts until 8.20. Sometimes it's like 9 or 10. I feel like I'm in front of the computer almost all day long. And today is a nice day of Ango. 
and five more days to complete. But the end of angle is the beginning of the study for next angle. So our life is like a never ending opportunities for studying. And you know, we are not studying to satisfy our desires to know more about the teaching. Well, of course, that is a part of it, but I personally study to appreciate the teaching more. You know, if I could pull out the words of sutras, seven pillar masters, Shinran Shongin, and other masters to share and appreciate the teaching more with many people, that would be great. And this is really great opportunity to study the text. You know, um, I'm a lazy person. So if I don't have opportunity like Ango, I don't open up the text and uh, study words by words or, you know, study about the text. But this is really great opportunity to study the text and, you know, understand, deepen the understanding more about Joro Shinshu teaching. So in my Dharma messages, I can say whatever I want to say, but since I am here as Joro Shinshu Honganji has minister, I should be able to say things based on the words of Buddha and our teachers, right? So this study opportunity is really important uh, for minister like me who is lazy. But anyway, today I shared the words of Nagarjuna, the first Piala masters. And he's often refer, uh, referred as the founder of the eight schools. So, you know, many schools of Buddhism rely on his thoughts. And usually uh, they rely on his thought as the founder of Madhyamika schools. That is the Mahayana school who mainly discuss the emptiness. But we, Joro Shinshu, rely on Nagarjuna for his writings titled Chapter on Easy Practice of the Commentary of the Ten Bodhisattva Stages and also the chanting we chanted today, the Jungirai. Uh, this is the writings of Nagarjuna we rely on. And in chapter on easy practice, Nagarjuna said, in the Buddha's teachings, there are countless gates, just as journeying over land is full of hardship while sailing on board a boat is pleasant. There are difficult and easy among the path of this world. So there are two paths, difficult and easy. A difficult path is like journeying over land and easy path is like sailing on board a boat. And, you know, especially with this beautiful weather, uh, beautiful nature in Oregon, many people like to hike. And I also enjoy the nature in Oregon. So some people might say that I prefer journeying over land because I like hiking. But, you know, when we think like, if we all should achieve one goal, achieve one goal, do we want to take difficult path or easy path, right? If it's for hiking, it's okay. But if we have to achieve one goal, then do we want to take difficult path or easy path? You know, it is like filling out tax return by yourself or asking CPA, right? I don't know, you know, this was not a good example maybe, but you know what I mean. And I know that uh, there are people who prefer difficult path and they are able to accomplish it. And I really admire the person, but that is not the path for me. At the end of this paragraph, Nagarjuna said, some engage in rigorous practice and endeavor while others quickly reach the stage of non-retrogression through the easy practice of entrusting as a means for attaining it. So easy practice is the practice of entrusting as a means for attaining it. And in Joro Shinshu, and I am sure that Joro Shu too, we understand that Nembutsu, recitation of the name is based on the mind of entrusting. And 
and trusting to what, right? That is the working of Amira Buddha, the calling of Amira Buddha to grasp and never abandon us and unfailingly makes us attain birth into the pillar. And this is a teaching recommended by Shakyamuni Buddha. Shakyamuni Buddha taught the larger sutra to benefit beings, benefit all beings by the working of Amira Buddha. And all the Buddhas of the 10 directions are recommending us the working of Amira Buddha. So the name Butsu, recitation of the name Namo Amida Butsu is a teaching recommended by all the Buddhas. So all the Buddhas are saying, entrust yourselves, you entrust yourself without doubting this recommendation. You know, when I was living in the apartment, I didn't have much salespeople come to recommend their products. But after we moved to the house, we have salespeople come to occasionally come to recommend their products. And I usually start from doubting the recommendation because I know there are some people who really love their products and they want to recommend it, but you know, it is business after all, right? If we buy the products, it benefit them. It maybe benefit the person and the company. But how about recommending your favorite musicians or bands? Of course, you want people to listen to the songs of the brands, bands or the uh, singer, but you are not recommending it for your own benefit, right? If the people start to like them, you feel happy. If not, that is okay. But, you know, it's kind of sad, isn't it? And recommendation of the Buddhas are the same thing. They recommend us. They recommend us the teaching. They recommend us the working of Amida Buddha, not to benefit themselves, but they know that the teaching of Nembutsu would be the great match for the people like me who cannot wa walk the path of difficult practices. And the result of receiving the recommendation and trusting ourselves to the recommendation is that the birth into the pure land, right? That is where we attain Buddhahood. And attaining Buddhahood is not only to fulfill our desire of attaining enlightenment, but also and mainly to perfect the wisdom and compassion to save other beings freely. So attaining of the Buddhahood is the fulfillment of the Mahayana path. So Nagarjuna said the words I shared at the beginning. If one doubts the Buddha's power while planting roots of good, the lotus flower in which one is born will not open. For one whose entrusting heart is pure, however, the flower opens and then one sees the Buddha. In our tradition, roots of good is understood as the name Namo Amida Butsu. And Namo Amida Butsu contains the wish of Amida Buddha. Actually, Namo Amida Butsu is, by, is established by the wish of Amida Buddha to entrust ourselves to the working. So as I mentioned, the recitation of the name Namo Amida Butsu is based on the mind of entrusting. And the one who doubts the working the lotus flower in which one is uh, born will not open. And those who entrust the flower opens and see the Buddha. And what do you think? If you are growing flowers, if you are going, growing flowers and the bud will not open, don't you feel sad? And don't you try to do whatever you can do for the bud to bloom. Now, our vegetables in backyard is starting to harvest. You know, we have mini tomatoes and eggplants and waiting for cucumbers and zucchinis to grow. And I see so many buds on zucchinis 
but it have not bloom yet. But we are waiting patiently. But you know, you know, for vegetables, if they don't grow well, I feel that it is my fault and sorry for the vegetables. But being inside of the bad is not the fault of Amida Buddha. It is the fault of practitioner for doubting the working. Amida Buddha is always wishing the bad to bloom and always calling us in Nembutsu and trust yourself to my working. And all the Buddhas of Ten Directions and Shakyamuni Buddha are recommending us to entrust yourself to Amida's working. So as we feel sad when the bud will not bloom, doubting the working and recommendation of Buddha makes Buddha sad. So I hope we will not make Buddha sad and we all see each other in the pure land when, uh, when we pass away. So thank you for attending today's service. And in closing, please join me in Gashio. Please put your palms together. If one doubts the Buddha's power while planting roots of good, the lotus flower in which one is born will not open. For one whose entrusting heart is pure, however, the flower opens and then one sees the Buddha. Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts, Namo Amida Buts, Namanda Buts, Namanda Buts, Namanda Buts, Namanda And now we are going to sing Shinshu Shuka, uh, verse 2. One, two, three. To no yami yori sukuare shi. Mi no sachi nani Kurabu beki Rokuji no minao Tona e tsutsu Yo no nari wa ingi Iso shiman. Shinshu Shuka. I have been saved from the eternal darkness. To what can I compare my happiness? Reciting the Nembutsu, I exert myself diligently in my daily work. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namo Amida Butsu. Namanda Butsu. Namanda Butsu. Namanda So I'm, I'm sorry for my throat, but uh, I hope it sounded OK. And this will conclude today's Sunday service. And I hope you will have a great week. And I will see you uh, same time on this YouTube channel next Sunday. So thank you for attending today's service.
Thank you. 